Well, it's time for that age old question. Should I rent or should I buy? And we're gonna jump on that right after this. So stay tuned. My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities. If this is your first time here seeing me on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out videos every single week all about Long Beach, all about the surrounding cities, all about the things that you want to know about, about where to eat, work, live, play. Should I rent or should I buy? That depends. It depends on you. It depends on such things as your desired lifestyle, your finance. So here are a few things to help you answer that question. Part one is lifestyle. So maybe you can relate to one or two of these type of renters lifestyle. Renters tend to move around more. They, they want that more freedom to pursue that ideal job so they don't have to relocate with the hassle of selling a home. They don't have to spend their off time doing maintenance work. You just call the landlord, bam, somebody's there, it gets done, hopefully. But they do tend to pay for that luxury in the form of rent. Now, a homeowner's lifestyle tends to be more settled and will stay in one place longer than a renter will. You know, like that old saying, buy a house and lay some roots. So this stability can be great for families with children. And as long as you're not breaking any laws, you're free to renovate, add on, do whatever you want to do to that property. And that's something that the renters, eh, they probably shouldn't do. So if you are one of those people that like to put your own personal touches on everything, well then buying is for you. So you don't want to mow the yard on, on a weekend and stuff. Well, we have options. One, you can hire a gardener. Two, number two, just plan on always being a renter. Or number three, just suck it up and do it for your future. Part two now, finances. Renters usually have a typically higher housing payment, but they do not have any additional out-of-pocket expenses such as maintenance. And yes, some of these costs can get really, really big, really, really fast. When you sign that lease as a renter, your payment is locked in for the length of that lease. So you do not have to have that giant emergency fund as a renter. Homeowners, on the other hand, do enjoy that lower monthly payment, but they still have to be responsible for the upkeep on their home. Now, renters may enjoy that their payment is locked in for the length of that lease for one year, for two years, but then they have to start over and rent will probably be increased at that point. Uh, it definitely will be increased at that point. Well, homeowners, on the other hand, have a locked in mortgage rate that will not change for 30 years now just think about this for one second now just imagine that you can freeze your rent for the next 30 years so that it never goes up and then after that it goes away and you're stuck with owning this beautiful home that you have had for the last 30 years and it's worth quite a bit of money a lot of money that is the reality of a homeowner now, it's usually about this point in the conversation where my clients will say, well, well, property taxes, we don't pay property taxes and I don't want to pay property taxes. Well, that's true. No, you do not pay property taxes as a renter. But let me remind you something. Your landlord, he's not going to absorb those costs on your behalf, okay? He's not going to eat those costs. So property taxes, maintenance, landscaping, all that kind of stuff, the emergency fund, it's all built in to your rent. So yes, technically you are paying property taxes, just not your own. Homeowners can look at their principal mortgage payment going toward their mortgage as a forced savings. While renters, they only get shelter in return for their payment. Homeowners get equity and shelter. So down the line, the equity can be tapped into an equity credit loan, uh, a credit line, or can be returned to the homeowner when you sell the home. Now this for savings is why they say real estate is a great investment. So is being a homeowner always the right decision? Not necessarily. 
you have to save up for a down payment and that is money that is tied up in your home and not working for you say like in the stock market and that is what we call opportunity costs and that is definitely something for you to consider so again is it better to rent or buy only you and your unique situation can answer that so i hope you found this video a little helpful again my name is steve arthur i am a local realtor here in the long beach area so if this is your first time seeing me here on youtube hit that subscribe button ring that bell for future notifications because i absolutely love it when people get hold of me through this channel i'm working with everybody from the coast canada and i think it is just so cool but anyways take care and until next time